Chad Garber, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to play Aqualung by Jethro Tull. If you like this video, give me a like. If you want to subscribe to see more, that'd be great as well. All right, let's get into this. First lick. It's basically a G pentatonic scale. A G, I mean a G blues pentatonic scale. You know, the G, the G blues pentatonic scale is... Start off with your ring finger on the fifth fret of the A string. And then you're gonna use your pointer finger to hit the third fret of the E string. I pick down, I'll lower. Then I use my pinky to hit the um, sixth fret of the low E. Pick it all down so far. And then I use my pointer finger to hit the third fret of the A string. Picking down again. Then I use my middle finger to hit the fourth fret of the A string. Then I go back to the third fret of the A string with my pointer finger. All picking down. That's the main lick. So the very first time he goes. And then he does it again. And then he's gonna hit a bar chord. You know, and the bar chord is this, and the, it's way up here. It's basically you put your pointer finger over the ninth fret of the low E, and your ring finger on the eleventh fret of the A, and hit it that. Way. Instead of the reason you do it that way instead of this way, is because he does a, a serious slide. So it's. See how he does that? Let's see how he does that? See how I do that? So I basically hit it one, two, three. If you do it from here, you kind of do it, but you can't get it as good of a, a slide. So at least that makes sense to me. Okay, the next chord is a. And that one is you put your pointer finger on the sixth fret of the A and your ring finger on the eighth fret of the D. You slide that up two more. So one, two, Slide it up to where your pointer finger is on the eighth fret of the A and your ring finger is on the tenth fret of the D. He just hits it three times, he doesn't go. Pointer finger, put it on the sixth fret of the A. Pick down. I use my ring finger. I'm like actually my, my middle finger, and pick the the, uh, the eighth fret of the A. I'll go back to the sixth and back to the eighth. And then I use my pinky to go to the ninth fret of the A, and then my pinky again to hit the tenth or ninth fret of the E. You're back with the uh, sixth fret of the A with your pointer finger, and then you see so you one two three four 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 one. Yeah, so you hit the, the sixth fret of the A four times. One two three four, and then you go. Your, I, what I do is I use my pinky to hit the tenth fret of the low E. I'm at the ninth fret of the low E. And then I use my pinky again to hit the ninth fret of the A. Hit that twice. And then you're gonna go back down. You're gonna actually gonna use your pointer finger to hit the seventh fret. The seventh fret of the A, and then to the seventh fret of the E. And then you're gonna hit this chord. Same chord you hit earlier, but one up. And your pointer finger's on the tenth fret of the E, and your A, your middle finger's on the twelfth fret of the A. So the whole thing is so that part is um. 
It's a little weird, just he's gotta get used to it. So here's the whole thing. Slow. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give me a like. If you want to subscribe to see more, that'd be super. Thanks a lot. Have a great day jamming out with Jethro Tull.